You gonna help me again, Conan? You're looking for snacks? Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Conan's not blocking everything. I have this little speed stream connects you to the internet. Speed stream 4200. Not much to it. So let's get to it and take it apart. I had a screw there that's out already. I don't see any other screws. I'm going to go ahead and pop these little rubbers off his feet because where does it is? I saved these because they can go under other things to do other jobs as time goes on. Except for these two are not coming out because they're hard plastic. No wonder they don't peel off. You can't peel a hard bottom plastic off. Well, who would have thought? All right, now. Oh, look, it's just the top snap right off. A little circuit board in there. Doesn't even seem to have any screws in it. It may have one there, but I don't think so. Huh? This little chip is a, I should make it where you can see it, huh? A little circuit board. This chip here has that little yellow piece that often, but not always, signifies there's gold in this chip under it, its feet, what have you. We won't know till we get that far along taking it apart, but at any rate, it's got a little weight to it. This plastic has none. Mm, it's kind of hard to tell. Usually when it's real dark, it often has gold under it. But we won't know till we take them apart. So, it's a lot of scratching and what have you to get it off without really breaking it. So, for now, we'll set it aside till the day comes we're doing all these little circuit boards and removing the rest of the gold and what have you off of it. A tiny little bit of copper. And some plastic that I guess we'll just have to donate to the city recycling because at the moment not into plastic recycling. It might end up being that there's more in that than anything else before it's over. Let's see. I'm kind of making a sticker board of different junks that I have taken apart if they come off wholly and easily and we might get this one off look at that huh. um, we'll put that in our little sticker pile there and we'll put these in the recycle bag to go out for the city all right now we got this IBM monitor with this funny stand that goes with it. It turns on this stand and it goes down and put it anywhere you want to stop it. just seems to stop and stay there nicely. Pretty nice little stand. Alright, so let's just take the stand off right away. And has these four screws on it to hold it on this plate. So we may just set this stand aside rather than fully take it apart at the moment. And see if we come up with some other use for it. I know. Save too much stuff for other uses. But... If I can recycle it myself and use it for something else of my own and don't have to buy something, I consider that coming ahead. Coming out ahead. Oh, there we go. Get that last one out. And there we go. Boy, it's all... This just has all the weight. It's pretty heavy. That's why it has such a big foot, I guess, because... This is very light. Huh. He's just 
steel in the bottom, a little piece of steel there. Right there, that's, is that plastic or steel? I think it's a little metal tube. Anywho. Ah, but out of that weight of this on it, it's really springy. <laughs> okay, let's set it to the side for the moment. Come back here to our monitor, which is heavy, IBM. Looks nice. I sure hate taking stuff apart that does or might work. Think vision. <laughs> But it's pretty antiquated for today's days. October 2005? I think it's 2005. I'm so blind it's hard to tell. Hmm. Very nice though. All right, so there's a screw here. Very tiny one. And, oh, is this gonna be tricky? This is very few screws. Strange. Tell me that one screw is all it takes. That's strange. It just snaps together, maybe. <clears throat> Doesn't like that. Okay. Maybe there's screws here that I'm not seeing because it has these pieces of rubber. How about that? What a ding dong I am. Little pieces of rubber stuck in the holes. Hiding the screws. Should have noticed that right off, but we can't all be geniuses. If we, if I was, I probably wouldn't be doing this. But on the other hand, maybe that shows that I'm a genius. All right, back over here to the corner that likes to get give it up easily enough. Now, yep, getting a little easier on that side. There we go. Oh, broken piece of plastic. And let's see, this has wire into there. There we go. And there's the face right off of it. Wasn't much to it at all. But, right in here, there's a little, little circuit board uh, that runs the controls. Let's get this little brass looking screw out of there. Another tiny one. And look, there you go. There's the little buttons. It's still push buttons, on and off push buttons, hidden. And the plastic and the front has little things to make you think it doesn't have buttons. It's just soft touch. Uh, you think <laughs> you think that little soft touch is what's really doing it, and come to find out it's not. It has normal buttons behind it, like everything else. Gives the look of being. 
all modern and it's just an illusion. It's still the same old buttons that everything always had on it and inside of it. This thing's being finicky and got these little plastic clips right here that's not wanting to give up and it's wanting me to stab myself in the hand to make it give it up. <clears throat> we don't like that. It probably has zero value and you spend 25 cents trying to get it all. Hey. If we could all get off for 25 cents, it wouldn't be such a bad deal. Oops. Don't take that the wrong way. Uh, I'm going to put this piece of junk over in the garbage pile. The recycle pile, actually. I hope the world is still recycling and not just throwing it away. Although I've seen some videos that say otherwise. So, at least I do my part. I don't, can't say for sure that it gets recycled to the rest of the world. Probably should have the, well, I don't know if it makes any difference which side of this you're seeing. I'm taking these couple of screws off here on this end. And I'm assuming it has a couple on the other but you never know, they often just snap one side together. No screws there, but some snaps. There's a screw there. Unscrew that one. They have little brass screws. It looks like they're going in little brass fittings. Also, they're so tiny. It amazes me how short them little screws can be hold all this stuff together. Let's see here. Move these plastic clips. Give it up. Is there one here somewhere? Nope. They're just along this end. Yes. There's one here. Right. Um, are we still uh, doing alright up there with our Camera, we're almost finished here. I don't believe there's much more to get it apart. The scrappy to go to bed. All right, so now we got the back off. It's all plastic. No good parts on. I said it there. Tape off. Um. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Alright, let's separate this. Oh, I think we're missing oh, the tape. Did you cut the tape? Oh, there's two pieces. All right, now let's see it's fold up. Let's over and see what we got here. Get the tape off here. Figure out how to unplug that, I guess by snatching. Uh, I would uh, maybe get these. But, all right, we're gonna cheat. Because I want to not with the pliers. <laughs> Come on now. Pay attention. One way to get laid off. There, now we have two separate pieces. This, along the top of this monitor here, has this little board. But I can see that it looks like it has the gourd. Is this the one with the gourd? These look like nothing. Yeah, look at the gold foil and the 
gold teeth there and all the gold pieces in there. I figured it would have lots of nice pretty gold because it's made by the good maker, what was it, IBM? Hmm. So that's so pretty right there. Alright. Give it Why you want to be so hard on me? Is that a screw right there? Maybe it is. Maybe that's why it doesn't want to come up, even though I can't see it. It's a job for scrappy. Hmm. hmm. We don't care a whole lot about what's going on. We'll just make our way around it right this second and then I'll find a, another way to get it out. Wow, look at that. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this frame comes apart here. good way? I'm not sure. Is it the bad way? I'm not sure. It looks like it has some snaps. I don't smash my finger. Yeah, there you go. Don't break stuff. There we go. Nice little piece of frame. Let's see what it is. Oh, this tin. We knew it was going to be 10. Put it to the 10 pile. It's a strong 10. Okay, put it over there in scrap metal pile. Come back over here and look at our, our monitor. And it has another whole layer. Okay, let's keep going. Like, why you start in the middle? Good question. Plastic. Whoa, there we go. Uh, almost looks like a crack on the screen or two. But that's the screen. Like, it has little pieces of foil there. Let's take these guys off. Wow, yeah, that looks nice. Nice. That one's silver. Where the plug was. But this is all gold. On this on this bar. That's nice. We like to see that. Cute little screen. Take these little pieces of foil off. And there's the screen. And it is gone. Kind of messed up. It looks like artwork. It's Look at way that. too high. Can't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. There you go. There's the screen. I'm holding it up. Way too high. But it looks like art when you look through here. Just bend it some more places and ways. It looks like a nice pour. Yeah. And then we have. Fuzzy sheet and yeah. I'll never tore the plastic off from around it all the way. That's why we are having technical difficulties. I guess would be the <clears throat> correct metaphor. Wow, there's the foil. The, uh, Magnifying type glass. Yes. Yeah. Like that, huh? And <laughs> there's no sun outside right now. Crappy, you can't go out there and do anything with it. Why is this one not? Sensor. Uh huh? 
you can use this to censor what you're doing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, the sensor light. Another one. This is a little thinner. Wow, this feels like glass here. We still hadn't made it back down to the metal. Looks like this one here on the metal edge is still interfering. That's kind of a metal edge all the way around. We never got all the plastic off here. There's a spider. Where? Right there. Oh, he is, and the kitty cat don't even see it. No, he didn't notice him at all. Oh, poor spider. You need to move on out of the way. No spiders were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Not out loud, anyhow. Well, maybe it was a little out loud. Uh, what's the best way to open this up? Oh, wow, look at that. Wow, he jumped up on the counter. <laughs> He's never done that before. No, he usually goes around the easy way, but... Wow. Look at this thing. Good job, kitty. Wow. It has holes, I mean, little circles on it, just like a microwave. It will probably keep out, well, hold it down when people can see it. It might keep out the bad stuff, just like the microwave does. And here's another sheet. That's just that little plastic sheet. And now we made it all the way to the back. And there's on both ends. Okay, that's why that don't want to come off so easy. There's a light, two little fluorescent lights there. And two little fluorescent light tubes there. <laughs> that's pretty wild. That's what these wires go to, guys. You said, what's the wire go to? Now you know. Look at that. And on that end too. So. That's pretty cool. Then over here, on our back, The back plate and these couple of boards. Doesn't look like there's a lot to them, but they're boards. Take out this screw and this one. And this one. And come on, you don't want to get out of there? What's keeping you in? Strange, no more screws. There must be something right there where they have some like rivets on it or something. Turn it over. I don't think there's a... Something through that hole. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, you dummy. It's the plugs. Right there. Think, guy. This is the first time you ever did anything like this? It seems like it. Okay. Getting that one to come loose. Now I guess if I leaned it over, unscrew that, unscrew this little pin, this little pin went to the wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> and what do we got here? Ah. Uh, 
thing right there that looks like it might be sitting on a little bit of gold underneath it, but I can't quite tell. But it sure looks like it. And there's a little heat shrink, heat sink, heat shrink. <laughs> Not the same thing. Different careers bleeding in. This one loose. And this one. And another one. And the fourth corner. All right. And now it wants to move around a little. But it still doesn't want to come out because it is attached to this guy. Here, I do believe, the power cord plugged up at. I wish I would have had the correct power cord for this. I could have tried it out to see if it worked or how well. Mm -hmm. But it's I always say it is what it is. Mm. Power cord, power cord. Yes, I cut it a little long because you never know what it might come up with it. I might find a use for it. I wonder, do these come out from this side or the other side? Let's see. I think that's what the ones that you mounted it to the wall with. I can't see them under there yet. And this is strange because this maybe. Oh. Huh. I don't see why it doesn't want to just come right out. Heat sink under there. Uh, uh, well, I'm missing something somewhere, guy. What are you missing, guy? I don't see another screw anywhere, but obviously I am missing one. This little white pin right there. Ah, that little pin is keeping it from coming out. How about that? Look at that. Correct though. That little pin was holding it in. Look at that. Heat sink made of aluminum. Another one here. Well, a little to nothing in this computer, a monitor, but a lot of stuff just to make that monitor work, way more than you would ever think, or that I would ever think. Okay, let's take this screw out here and get our little brass screw and our little piece of wire, every piece counts. And I think that's going to about do it for this today. Hmm. That's just steel anyhow. I'll leave it on there. It can be the weight. Same with these. I don't think I need any of these guys off of there. Or out of there so that's gonna about do it for this we have all our parts I believe we've reached the conclusion that this is scrap okay guys girls ladies 
and all others. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time.